Good afternoon, teacher. Um, I will describe field hands and special circumstances. So, Phil Hansen was a boy that developed a condition that didn't let him draw. This condition was related to a shake in his hands. It was difficult for him to draw even strike a line. However, this destroyed his dream of becoming an artist. It was just a horrible struggle for him. He was so unhappy that he finished leaving the, the school and then he left art completely. After a few years, he could not stay away from art anymore. So he decided to go to a neurologist about a shake and he found out that he had permanent nerve damage. But the real thing that touched him was the words that the neurologist said to him. Why don't you just embrace the shake? And he did it. When he arrived to his home, he took his pencil and started scribbling pictures in a piece of paper. Even though this was a, not the type of art he was using or doing, he felt a great thing by doing it. But the important thing was that he discovered that he could make art again. In, ad in addition, he really liked fragmentation of poilism because of his condition. In the past, he was not able to do this type of art because of the shake. So he decided to look for some other ways to fragment images, like dipping his feet in painting or walking in, on canvas. After having gone from a single approach to art, he ended up having an approach of cre creative creativity that completely changed his artist horizons. So in the other in the other hand, when he finished school, he got a job. He earned some money and he bought uh, the supplies that he needed. Then he went to home and he sat down and there was no idea in his head. And this passed for some days after the day. He realized that he had to run out of creativity. The thing was that he shocked about all the things that he had done and all the possibilities possibilities that he never had before. Otherwise, he wondered if you could become more creative uh, looking for your limitations. So he started to make a lot of things that come to his mind because he realized that um, we need to be limited in order to become limitless. On the other side, uh, he had this idea that instead of making art to display, he had to destroy it. Then he started to make art and then he destroyed it. Um, also, he said that this helps him to let go. Let go of imperfections, let go of outcomes, and the um, let go of failure. It was like a liberation to him, and it returned. Um, also, he found a process of creating art that uh, perpetual um, by the results. He found himself instead of constant creation thinking only what's his neck. Um, finally, he finished saying that we must size 
our limitations. Thank you, teacher.